We have always been asking questions about who we are, how we think, what defines our identity, our awareness of ourselves and others. And we have tried to explore and experiment the dynamic boundaries of this understanding by altering our states of cognition through means that uh, go from the pretty abstract, like meditation, to the very concrete, assuming substances like alcohol and others, in order to see what happens. And in order to achieve a deeper understanding of how our mind and our body reacts to the world and reacts to our own internal states. This reverberating set of behaviors and experiments, this fractal attempt to explore what is possible has been going on for thousands of years. With the organization of our societies, the set of rules and regulations that uh, uh, influence or define what can or cannot be done, obviously took into account this ongoing experiment as well. And for a large number of geographies and uh, the people who live on these geographies, these regulations mean that for a large part the experiment is over, that it is constrained, it is uh, prohibited, it is repressed. And the punishment for the experimentation uh, is extreme and also something that is not working because the human desire for understanding is stronger. Three years ago, I had the um, extreme good fortune of being able to uh, be invited uh, through a friend uh, to be part of a ceremony, to be part of a community that uh, enables the participants uh, to take the extract of a gland of Bufo alvarius, the Sonoran Desert Toad, containing 5-MeO-DMT the most powerful psychedelic known to mankind. And my experience was very, very positive. First of all, the community uh, is uh, conscious of the power of the uh, experience and uh, it prepares you both before, during and after over the course of three days or more so that you know um, how to go into the experience and then afterwards uh, how to integrate it both in your personality as well as how you go about in the world afterwards. Subjectively, for me at least, the experience was very powerful and very positive. The um, effect of the psychedelic lasts not more than 5-10 minutes. In this case, under uh, a beautiful sun over a grassy uh, terrain, I would inhale uh, the uh, smoke from a pipe with uh, the assistance uh, of uh, the shaman. And then from the outside, what you would see is that I lose consciousness. I would be laid down on the grass. Inside, 
Well, I took off as a billion rockets into intergalactic space, completely losing the perception of uh, my body, uh, of my mind, of myself, of time, of space, but without losing a sense of uh, increasing well-being, empathy, unity. And during these minutes, as seen from the outside, in my subjectivity, without time, it could have been millions or billions of years. As a matter of fact, time didn't at that point have particular meaning. The takeoff was characterized by uh, the intensifying of a light that would engulf. But afterwards, seeing also became something mm, that was hard to understand because space uh, also dissolved. And so whether it was 10 minutes or a billion years, um, I reconnected with myself and uh, I found myself uh, with my naked torso on the grass, the head turned on the side uh, and uh, a wonderful person pouring some fresh water on my hands uh, and my face and, and, and head as I was coming back together. And I would feel uh, the earth under my arms, not the terrain, but the globe and its connectedness. And with my eyes, I would see extremely sharply the blades of grass that were beautiful and the people uh, standing around even more beautiful. Others, of course, will tell their own stories of their experience. And for some, uh, it is less peaceful. It is more cathartic and, uh, and uh, there is an inner fight uh, to go through. Um, for uh, others, uh, uh, it is a struggle. And uh, regardless, all describe a feeling of love, of belonging, of interconnectedness, of empathy. And this feeling doesn't dissipate. It stays with you, as well as a real impression of staring with your closed eyes at the sun and almost with the sensation of the reverberating and enclosing light reigniting the experience without uh, the chemical help of the toad extract. So I highly recommend it for anyone. If you know that you can have it in this kind of welcoming, self-assured, experienced setting like I had. I would definitely not recommend it to do it on your own or um, with some inexperienced friends. Uh, uh, just, uh, hey, let's try this because of how powerful it is. And the responsible way that uh, the experience happened, the ceremony, the community, the responsibility of the whole thing is witness to how it can be done. And it is said that so many places in the world are classifying 5-MeO-DMT as a dangerous substance prohibiting its possession or, or distribution. Octavio Ruttig, uh, who is the shaman with whose help I 
participated in the in the ceremony um, is from Mexico and he has helped tens of thousands of people participate. He is now building a sanctuary, uh, the Bufo Alvarius Sanctuary that you can find online. Uh, that will open its doors to welcome people to participate in the ceremony soon. And if you can go, you should go. The hypocrisy and the contradiction of governments that regulate and allow dangerous drugs like tobacco and alcohol that cause uh, not only dependence but cause accidents and death in the millions worldwide versus prohibiting other substances like cannabis or 5-MeO-DMT is perverse. There are now scientific studies of 5-MeO-DMT that is being uh, used to attempt treating severe depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, and other mental conditions and psychological conditions that resist treatment, that are untreatable with other approaches. Imagine the immense benefit that humanity would achieve if this became universally accessible. There will be a time when we will look back and see how barbaric the situation was today as people were stigmatized or persecuted for trying to better themselves. So what are the limits in the experiments of pursuing cognitive freedom? Is our ability to pursue these experiments of introspection and understanding of self-awareness and awareness of others going to increase or decrease. I really hope that in the future we will understand that in a responsible and self-aware manner these experiments should continue, that our degrees of freedom around them should increase, and that whether with chemical or other technological means, understanding who we are has been and is going to be a genuinely human pursuit.